Arceus V-Star is making a little bit of a comeback here. We saw Arceus and Regigigas V-Star have a strong showing at San Antonio Regionals. And then at Champions League Kyoto, we saw an Arceus with Zera Aura and Flying Pikachu deck get all the way to top eight. And today we are going to be revisiting an old favorite Arceus deck with Arceus Giratina. I'm Jeff from InThirdPerson.com. Make sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and let's talk about Arceus Giratina. And first of all, we got to shout out Kashvinder Singh Man for the deck. Shout out to them. Sorry, I'm looking at the, off to the side so I can pull the screen up. They played at the Cinnabar Island Tournament 15, a tournament that had over just over 90 players in it. And they got first place with Arceus Giratina with an 8-1 and one record. And these are against meta decks. We've got Giratina Lost Zone Box, Roaring Moons, Charizards, even a, a Wild Serena deck showing up here as well. So shout out to Cash Finder Sing Man for the deck and the great performance at this tournament. You can find them on Twitter. They are very prolific in the Pokemon TCG community, both playing and sharing deck lists and all that. So shout outs to them. And today, let's go and check out their take on Arceus. Giratina. Now, we all know Arceus for what it does, right? 280 HP. It's got the Trinity Nova attack, lets you do 200 damage and accelerate three basic energy to your Pokemon V in any way you like. Now, with a double turbo energy attached, you're doing 180. That's still enough to two shot pretty much anything in the game. And most importantly, it's got Starburst. For your V Star power, you can grab any two cards from your deck and then shuffle your deck and this is imperative to getting you rolling and we're going to be pairing this with giratina v-star where giratina's lost impact attack does 280 damage and you're going to put two energy attached to your pokemon in the lost zone now it's really important to denote here you don't have to lost zone the energy on giratina itself so it's totally possible to just attach a double turbo energy to like a Bidoof or something and then send that to the lost zone keeping the 280 damage attack locked in so really nice for just having a big body like Giratina V-Star just one-shotting big Pokemon over and over again. 280 is not going to get everything in the format, but you are going to get a lot of Stage 1 EXs, a lot of Vs, almost every V-Star, and we've got some stuff to hit, even V-Max territory. Its Star Requiem attack is not going to be used in this deck. You're just not going to get enough cards in the Lost Zone for that, but that's fine. Between Arceus swinging for Trinity Nova and Giratina swinging for Lost Impact, that's pretty much all you need in this deck. So our counts, we've got 4-3 Arceus, we've got 2-2 two, two Giratina, we've got a 2-2 two, two line of Bibril to draw cards, and the Squovit, of course, you shuffle your hand uh, to the bottom of your deck, and you draw one card. And when you pair this with Bibril, you can then draw another four cards to get five. Really great way of cycling through your hand to keep your cards fresh. For trainer cards, we've got four copies of Ultra Ball to grab any Pokemon of our choice. We have to discard two cards in the process, but that's fine. One copy of Switch and Escape Rope for a little bit of pivoting here and there. Tons of hand disruption in this deck, including four copies of Judge and two copies of Iono. Judge is shuffle, both players shuffle their hands into their deck, draw four cards, and Iono is both players shuffle their hands, put it to the bottom of their deck, and draw equal to the number of prizes. There are going to be times where you want to judge. There'll be other times where you want to Iono, so having both options is great. And you're, you're going to try and disrupt pretty much every turn. We also have four copies of Path to the Peak here, where after we do Starbirth, and sometimes even before you do Starbirth, you throw down Path to the Peak to shut off your opponent's rule box abilities. For our deck, the only one we're really worried about is Starbirth, but after Starbirth, you can just slam down Path to the Peak indiscriminately. We have one copy of Professor Turo Scenario, where you get to put one of your Pokemon in play into your hand, and you discard everything else attached. Now, for a deck like this, we would oftentimes see Sharon's Care. We've got Professor Turo in here so that we can also remove the Giratina or any other Pokemon that we just want off the board. Most likely a damaged Arceus or Giratina to take those multiple prizes out of play. Or sometimes if you get something trapped in the active, you can just Turo scenario it out off the game entirely. Two copies of Box of Disaster. If you've got this attached to a Pokemon V and it gets one-shotted when it had full health, you can drop eight damage counters 
onto that Pokemon. This is great against stuff like a Chen Pao that can one shot an Arceus or a Giratina and then they get knocked out in return. However, this is not going to work on Roaring Moon's Frenzied Gouging because Frenzied Gouging does not count as an attack and you're not doing damage that way. So Box of Disaster will not help you on that front. Four copies of Nest Ball to get our basic Pokemon down. One copy of Choice Belt for plus 30 damage on opposing Pokemon V. This will help us get uh, up to 310 damage on certain Pokemon V, like a Gard not Gardevoir, like a Mew V Max and certain other V Max Pokemon. Cleansing Gloves is going to get you plus 30 damage on Psychic Pokemon, including a Gardevoir EX and the Mew V Max, helping Giratina climb the ladder and take out those really big prizes. And four copies of Boss's Orders for gusting your opponent's Pokemon into the active. And energy counts, very healthy count of energy, including one V Guard energy, so you take 30 less damage from opposing Pokemon V, five Grass energy, five Psychic, and four Double Turbos. So this deck is a little more linear than, I mean, Arceus decks, generally speaking, are more linear than something like Lost Box Giratina, but it always boils down to turn one, Arceus V, attach an energy. Turn two, you want to go into Arceus V Star and power up your attacker, whether it's a Giratina V Star or another Arceus. And then you're going to be using the combination of Bibril and Squovit to draw cards. I think that with Lost Box continuing to be popular, this is a big body deck that can hit some of the big Pokemon for for big damage and keep up toe-to-toe -to -toe and raw damage output at the same time against the smaller decks like a lost box they're gonna have a really hard time dealing with the pokemon that are all 280 hp and can't be really whittled away at with sableyes and cramorants all right let's get to these matches we like to go first arceus decks pretty much always want to go first now we could be staring down a roaring moon on the other side that would be bad and one energy this isn't entirely the worst it's going to be predicated on what we can get off of judge it's the scary thing with these arceus decks i wonder if it's worth playing azashian in this deck just to better ensure the turn one attach but i don't know this deck also runs just a ton of energy in general so wait what Okay, there we go. <laughs> PTCG Live, what is you doing? So yeah, off whatever we get off Judge, we really need to get an Arceus V-Star or an out to Arceus V-Star. And let's see, Iron Valiant is... Okay, Entei Valiant. They could potentially one-shot us out of the game and then we'd lose. But they will have to get the Wombo Combo and they are very slow to get their cards down, which makes me think they don't have it like that. Yeah, if they're drawing with Entei right now to try and get... And they're benching Charizard. Oh, okay. Okay. Put a DTE on right now. So they're not attacking this turn, probably. But they are setting up for an early Radiant Charizard. Okay. And that could be a problem if they can blast. If we can't get Arceus V-Star out right now, then we could be in, in a little bit of trouble here. I don't mind putting the energy on the Charizard if you're going to get rid of the hand anyway and just try and have Entei tank a hit and hopefully you can get more Valiance on the board. Okay. Yep, they're going to drop some Tachyon bits here. And if they can get a... No, they're not going to be able to... That's annoying. Not going to be able to get the... Oh, and they get the stone too. Okay. They are popping off. Let's go and see what they get. Probably a VIP pass and start to drop more Tachyon bits. Yep. They're going to get at least one more drop here. That's annoying. Our, our life in this game entirely predicates on what we can get off of this judge. Oh, and top deck. So basically the next five cards we see are going to determine our fate. I don't think we have much going after this. And we, we have to swing. Okay. The potential saving grace is that this deck does not need to bench a lot of stuff. So we could limit Entei's damage that way. Let's go and switch. Okay, we get a Giratina down. We get the switch. And now all comes down to this. 
all comes down to this. Do we hit the out to Arceus V-Star? We do not. Um, That's horrible. And instead, we are just going to slam down Path to the Peak. And we pray. <laughs> that was not ideal. At least we got Path to the Peak. For whatever that's worth. But they just have Vacuum. Oof. They do flush an Entei along the way. And hopefully they don't. They've got the fourth Valiant. And the research. Okay. If they knock out this Arceus, we're just dead. I think this is one of the dangers of an Arceus-based deck is that Arceus is a little slower. It's funny talking about Arceus being slow. The idea that, yeah, you need to get the turn two <laughs> in order to get set up. But there are some hyper-aggressive decks like a Maridon, like this one that just do a ton of damage. Yep, here we go. And we're getting cooked. Okay, they're setting up the, the Giratina potentially for a one-hit KO later. And we are still... Okay, slam down Iono. Slam down Path. And hopefully... We get one of the pieces. Now... I think the way about it is we go in. If we turn this to Arceus V-Star, we don't get to do anything. If we turn this to Arceus V-Star, we could potentially do stuff later. I think the play is to power up the... What do we power up? I think we power up the Arceus V-Star for now. So at least we can stay in the game if we get KO'd here. And then try and build up this Giratina for later. Oh my good, they just had the bump. Of course they just had the bump. Okay. <laughs> okay. Go off. Oh, that was depressing. I think we got to swing on the Entei if we get the opportunity to do so. And if they can get Entei into the active, they're probably knocking out this Arceus. Okay, softening up the other Arceus. Trying to make it easy for one-shots later. I don't hate that for them. Uh, I hate this so much. And look, Entei Valiant is an okay deck. It's a little inconsistent. It, it made a big splash at... Um, LAIC finished second famously in that tournament and then kind of hasn't done too much since. It's had, like, I think it's had some top 16s, top 32s here and there. But, yeah, we are going to get blasted here. And that is unfortunate. Okay. So, yeah, we need to get Giratina rolling here. Potentially bench another Arceus. Okay. We finally get a, a Giratina here. Now, if we... Ooh, uh, maybe the Choice Belt would have worked here? No, Choice Belt would have bumped us up to 210. That wasn't going to be enough. Ooh, we should get the B-Brawl and hopefully draw into some better cards here. Hopefully we can get a Tina plus something else. Uh, no, we don't get the Tina. We do get a double Turbo Energy. And that might be worth attaching to something. Nah, let's go and shuffle them up. There's the Giratina. That's nice. Um, we will slam down another path to the peak. And a box of disaster doesn't do anything for us right now. Let's actually put the put the Arceus on the bench and the box. And we will swing for 200. Now, do we have any other energy to even power up another Arceus? Okay, yeah, we have two double, we have four double turbos and a, we have four double turbos and a jet, uh, V guard energy. So now they're going to have to figure out some stuff. We've got them in a pretty good, oh my goodness. They had three path bumps. 
Or, yeah, they had all the path bombs. Oh my goodness. Okay. Okay. This is insane. Okay. It would be hilarious if we finish this with the with the bee roll because the bee roll can attack, but I don't think that's the the play here. They're gonna swing for a decent amount of damage. If they could, I would gust up like the Giratina and just put a lot of pressure on me that way. Yeah, what's gonna be awkward is yes, we can take out the Charizard if it comes down to it. The Charizard's probably gonna knock out our Arceus, at which point, okay, they're gonna rope. Hmm, what do we rope into? I don't want to rope into anything right now. Okay, let's bring in, let's bring in, uh, do we pray for, if we bring in Arceus, they could potentially box a, dis yeah, trigger the box of disaster, and then we get a damage on, like, an Entei, like, if they run some sort of switch thing. Although, no, Box isn't going to trigger because this is knocked out by damage from an attack in your opponent's Pokemon. It had full of HP, so... Hmm. That's annoying. Let's see where we go from here. Ugh. Yeah, they are setting up the rest of our board for one hit KOs. Here comes a double turbo energy. That's just for a hard retreat later. Um, okay, Professor Turo's scenario is not bad. And at least gets this Arceus off the board, if that's what we're looking to do. Um, actually, yeah, that's kind of good. We can go and pull this one out of the game. And we can put this Arceus back in. And we go and... Ah, we can actually Starbirth here. We're behind on prizes, so we can actually grab ourselves a... No, we don't have Counter Catcher in this deck. Uh, we can Path and we can grab a V-Guard Energy to at least start powering up this Arceus, which we I know we currently don't have an answer for. But Slam Down Path again. And we swing for 200. Yeah, this is a really, really annoying match. Now, Entei still can't one-shot, at this point in time, still cannot one-shot the Arceus in the active. Because we haven't benched enough stuff. They're going to give themselves four cards. We still get six, which is very nice. Okay. We could just outstabilize here. We should get Arceus rolling. They're going to get a four. Oh, four seal stone doesn't matter. They've already popped it. So if they don't have a bump to path, maybe just swing with the. Yeah, they're just going to tank with the other. Okay, at this point, we probably then want to attack the Charizard, right? Because the... Okay, we can get rid of this Tina. I think we're only going to need one at this point. And if we knock out the Charizard, Entei is still not one-shotting this Arceus in the active. They are doing at most 180, and they're going to be short. So let's go and gust up the Charizard. And we will draw cards up with Beeberl. Yeah, okay. Ah, oh, Cleansing Gloves are going to be nice later. Potentially one-shotting. Ah! No, we're not going to be able to one-shot a Valiant with um, anything here at the moment. Okay, so hopefully Path sticks this time, actually. And we should be okay going forward they've got maybe they've got one more stadium and they've already burned vacuum they i think they run two so that could be a problem
Yeah, if we blast this Entei, then I think we we're gonna we're in a good spot. And I got rid of yeah, they already got rid of an Entei. They're not gonna be able to yoga loop us here. Everything we on the board is just a little too big. Yeah, if we can take that Entei, then we're we're kind of laughing. Giratina can one-shot everything else. So let's hold on, hold on our options here. I don't want to bench anything else. So we don't need the School of It. School of It actually kind of hurts us in the sense that it gives them... Oh, they flushed the Cham, which I did say Cham is kind of useless at this point. Hmm. Yeah. Uh, really liking where this match has settled into. We're gonna go and gust up this Entei. We will knock that out for 200 damage. We can hold on to the energy for now. Arguably could put it on the Beeberl so that we've got ammunition for Giratina later, but I think we're okay. That's weird that it lets me look at that card <laughs> in the middle of that attack animation. I've never seen that before. All right, now they're in a... I mean, oh, we still have to take three prizes. We're on odd prizes, damn. I forgot about that. Okay, they'll counter capture the B barrel up, and that's a good thing we held on to the escape rope. Uh, now it's annoying that they Ionoed us because now we don't have access to the escape rope. Okay. Uh, we do have a double turbo, so we can just bring in a fresh. Yeah, we can just hard retreat here. So let's go and attach, and let's bring in the. Do we bring in the fresh Arceus or just bring in the Giratina? I think we bring in the... I think we bring in a fresh Arceus. And we can... We'll give him a different four with the Judge. Just constant hand disruption. We do get the rope boss, which is nice. And we're going to be hitting for... Actually, you know what? If we rope here, we can then take a one shot on one of these. Yeah, this is what I like. Then we can take a one shot on a fresh valiant at which point then yeah we push this out of reach let's go 230 damage arceus is gonna one shot any of these giratina is gonna one shot any of them if they try and trap if they try and trap biberal that could be a problem but otherwise we're looking pretty good here they're going to need to run some hand disruption and some other stuff. So, yeah, this is kind of the problem with Valiant Entei is that you kind of have to draw hot. And if for whatever reason, it's really good against evolution decks if you can hit that yoga loop turn early. But because your your deck is so heavily required, you got to hit that combo. It, it can flame out in the the mid to late game if you can't get rolling and yeah it was very scary in the early game but they were also this is also a deck that requires a wide bench Entei was not going to be able to get one shots on us because we just weren't benching enough stuff and our our pokemon are all very tanky 280 hp a piece and then from there it just got dicier with all the copies of path to the peak and yeah they did bump a whole bunch of them but eventually path did stick and the cleansing gloves there actually came in really nice, being able to one-shot a Iron Valiant to push this game out of reach. The Giratina didn't do anything in this match. We could have had Giratina do stuff, but it was there ready to one-shot anything else they threw at us. GG's. Giratina, no energy. We can't we do have an out to Arceus, but like no energy is absolutely tragic here. Against Chen Pao, this is potentially a bad matchup. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> um, Arceus is not one-shotting Chen Pao's. We are... Giratina can one-shot, but like... Yeah, we're going to have to rely on Path to the Peak and just Disruption mostly. We can get an Arceus down, but we don't have energy at the moment. Okay. We may want a Pokestop. Like, when you play a not Pokestop deck and you play Pokestop, I think there's a higher chance of bad things happening. But 
uh, right now our hand really sucks and we may want to dig just to make, just to give us, oh, okay, they get the rod, but losing the Irida does suck for them. Hopefully we can get an energy drop here. If I were them, what am I grabbing? Probably a second. I don't think they have to worry, and I don't think they're worried about losing this Frigabax right now. They got rid of the rod. Interesting. Oh, inter a Pidgeot variation of the deck. This is could play to our advantage here because Paths of the Peak is going to be doing extra work on this deck. We get the Arceus. We get the energy attach. Um... Ooh, I don't want to get rid of Giratina, though. I don't want to get rid of the Arceus V-Star. We definitely we have to get rid of Boss at this point. And I think we have to get rid of Arceus V-Star. We have... Oh, sh we've prized two of them. Oh, my goodness. Okay. That was not ideal. Let's go and judge. Okay. Um... We can bench a second Arceus and we'll put the Box of Disaster on the Giratina. If they knock it out, if they knock it out, we can make some stuff happen here at the very least. I can't imagine them playing. Um, I can't imagine them playing. What was I going to say there? I totally had a brain fart. Don't worry about me. <laughs> okay, here comes the second Frigabax. The Box of Disaster could work wonders here if they one-shot this Giratina, do eight damage. Then we can take a return KO on them and potentially figure it out from here. Okay, they Iono. Okay. Okay. This is good. This is good. All right. Now, hopefully, they do not have the out to Backscalibur right now. Part of me tells me they don't. Um, do we want to just swing on... We have to escape rope. Like, I could switch. I don't know if I want to burn. Ooh. Okay, they do have a vacuum, though. So, Iono path. If we grab an Iono... Yeah, we can slam path and then Iono them down or judge. Okay. But it looks like they are not going to get rolling here. And that is fantastic. Yeah, they would have set up right now. <laughs> so they have, they have bricked themselves. Or yeah, they've got 10 cards and a whole lot of nothing at the moment. Okay, they're going to attach on energy. That's fine, but they're not they're not doing a big attack here. Yeah, I would rather use the escape rope, take a knock on something else, and then Iono Judge. Unfortunately, we only have one Arceus V-Star at the ready, so like building this one up is kind of pointless. Okay, we do get a Giratina, that's fantastic. We're gonna have a return KO in the process so let's go and rope i will give them that i'll give them that let's go save their chen pao they'll probably i don't think they're gonna want to tank a hit with chen pao though right that feels like a bad okay yeah sure all right um let's go starburst we only have so do we just get down a second Kiratina then? That might be the play. Might be the play. And a box of disaster here is actually going to be good. And then... Ooh, hold on. I want to hand disrupt. I want to hand disrupt. So let's go and get a... Yeah, we'll take the box of disaster. That feels really good. And let's Iono here. Give them six other cards. Right? So we'll go put the box on. I will slam down Path to the Peak and let's Iono and pray that's going to be enough. Okay, we get another Giratina. That's nice. We can grab second Giratina and 
and start building up. Yeah, the Squovit, unfortunately, not doing anything right now. One, two, three. Yeah, and hopefully we can just stall for time with a... Yeah, if we can get double Giratina built up, then we should be good. Oh, they had Pokestop in hand already. Okay, that's annoying. That's annoying. If they build up a Bax and they one-shot us, then... Oh, they only have one energy? Where'd the rest go? Four, five, six. So they've prized, what, three, four energy? That's brutal. Oh, no, and they lost another Baxcalibur. Oh, no. And they got rid of a rod. This is looking kind of grim for our opponent right now. Oof. Big oofs. Unfortunately for us, not having... I don't want to hit the Pokestop right now. I, I want to get all the energy on the board. Get double Giratina rolling. If we can knock this out and get two Giratinas, then we... I think we just win. So, <laughs> um, yeah, we'll take that. Let's see what our opponent does. If they just scoop or they try and take a, a Hail Blade here with the other one. Which isn't necessarily the the worst play either. Or they just punt on this Chen Pao and hope that they can get set up on the next one. But yeah, right now, the the odds of us winning this match are incredibly high. I wonder if they just scoop. I would probably just scoop. Oh, cross switchers. Okay, they got some stuff. What are they going to hit? What are they going to hit? Probably this Arceus or they trap. Yeah, hit the Giratina. Like. Yeah, what do you cross switcher into? Yeah, okay. Into the Giratina. That's annoying, but. At this point, sure, you do that. We we start to build up. Do we build up or do we just go for the big swing at this point? And we use... Yeah, I think we... Is it worth Pokestopping instead of burning a double turbo here to try and get a, a switch? I don't think so. I think we just burn the double turbo and we say bet. We're going to take our one shot here. We get this Giratina set up and is there... Yeah, I think now we get the, the Bidoof to try and draw more cards later and we lost impact and arguably... Ugh, do we get rid of the double turbo on this or do we just say... What energy do I have in hand? I have a Psychic. So what if we get rid of this Psychic and um, this Grass? I think is the play. Okay, we get an Arceus V-Star. One of them. And yeah, if they knock us out with the other Chen Pao... They get Box of Disastered, and they're also out. Okay, I don't think this game is over yet, but our opponent has had some incredibly unfortunate draws. Double backs Caliber in the, the discard here, and they never got Pidgeot set up. At this point, they really don't want to see... Yeah, if we can take this KO and just build up a Giratina, then we're in a pretty good spot. Okay, they get the rare candy. They get a rod, so they should be able to 
get Baxcalibur finally set up here. Hmm. Very curious to see how this plays out. Bum, bum, bum. Yep, here comes the backs, and sorry for the, the mini earthquake there. Ooh, Pidgeot instead. Okay. I mean, that does give them... Yeah, because they're going to have to get all this energy back too, right? So... Yeah, they have to get... Baxcalibur. They have to put two energy onto a Chen Pao. And then get five more energy on the board. That they can... Yeah, they have to get five energy on the board. Five energy on the board. That's what this comes down to. So, um, they probably have an out to Baxcalibur here. Oh, yeah, they do. Right here. I'll grab two... They grab A energy. Oof. Yeah, they're going to need some energy recovery in order to make this work. Oh, no. If there's seven in the discard pile, like... And they only had one, like, all their energy is in here right now. How are they... How are they going to get through this? Okay, let's see it. What's the play? I think they need to take a one shot here, right? Okay, here comes the Baxcalibur. And yeah, where are they getting five energy from? They have at most four in hand right now, like three. Okay. Yep, that's a good start. That's a good start. And if the box of disaster holds up, then yeah, this is a two prize game anyway. Okay, let's see. Can they make it happen? Ooh, they vacuum away the box of disaster. That's annoying. That's annoying. That's a good play on their part, though. I think we're still okay. We're still okay, all things considered. Right? If they're going to be attacking with this Chen Pao, which I assume they will, then we still have a one-shot in the other Giratina. And they're going to need... Ah, they could boss. Yeah, they could boss. Okay. Yeah, losing the Box of Disaster there does screw things up for us. They do have Pidgeot as a... Is it worth putting another attacker? In? Yeah, we need 40 damage. None of these are going to do 40. 40 is a weird number for us, unfortunately. Sure, we can get... Uh, Turo, does Turo help us at all? Like, it gets one of these off the board... But I don't think that actually helps us in the moment. Um, I will. Yeah, I think we can get rid of Turo and Arceus. And let's just thin, thin our deck here. I want to hold on to the switch, though. Okay, there's boss. Boss is fantastic. Boss potentially gets us the the win here later. So let's go and Trinity Nova. And we've got potentially game in hand. We need them to not boss up this Giratina. And we need to not get hand disrupted. And we can knock out this Pidgeot for game. Also, actually, yeah, right now, if they attack this Arceus, they lose. I forgot about that whole that whole thing. Yeah, if they go in with a Chen Pao, there is probably one more Chen Pao floating around in their hands somewhere. I think there was an argument to be made. I could have Turo scenario this Arceus just off the board so that they don't have an easier two prize target, but let's see how this, this goes from here. We still have game in hand with this Pidgeot. I don't think they're gonna like collapse stadium it off the board or anything like that. Um, They do have a card of their choice and they could grab, 
Yeah, they've got eight energy. They need multiple pieces here. So they need a Chen Pao. They need multiple. I don't think they run multiple vacuum. I think we saw it. But let's see. If they knock out this Giratina, then this match becomes much harder. And that would make me very sad. We still have Path to the Peak, though, in a worst case scenario. But let's see. Man, they this match is so slow. To be fair, they have they have kept in it despite the fact that they've been very slow and their plays have been good. So I I can't be too mad about it if they're legitimately taking their time trying to figure out the best plays. If anything, I probably have a tendency to rush through a little too fast. Okay. Oh. Is that the play? Is that they're just going to attack with Baxcalibur? It might be. It might be. But double backs, I don't know if that's what you're... Unless you don't have a Chen Pao right now. Like, I don't understand the double backs set up right now. You need an attacker on the board. You need a bunch of energy, right? That's what you need. I think they're cooked. <laughs> I think they're cooked if this is what the... Pl you used your quick search to get. Oh, they get a ton of energy, though. They get a ton of energy. Can they get a Chen Pao on the board and blast? Damn, that was a really good Pokestop for them. But do they have the Chen Pao? And then, yeah, a Chen Pao, if they attack with Chen Pao right now, they just lose. They would specifically have to hit the Giratina and I mean, they might. This could be a boss play right now. Nope. I don't know. Okay. That's annoying. That's annoying. But if they Iono and they bring in Chen Pao, they just lose. If they... How many boss do we have still? I feel like we haven't used any... Okay. We still have three in the deck somewhere. They might even potentially Luminion attack and then just bring it back into the deck and Iono us. That would be kind of slick. And then that nullifies the Arceus. The Arceus box of disaster. Let's see if that is in fact the play. That might actually be the play. As long as they don't Iono us at the end, like, I just want to hold on to this boss. Now, it does help that we have the, oh, the Greninja? What? 90-90. Okay. They get the Iono on us, down to two cards. And a Greninja taking out the, the Squovit does hurt. Does hurt for sure. Okay, we really need boss's orders here. If not boss, path to the peak to at least slow down the the Pidgeot and the Yeah, the Pidgeot. But yeah, 90 is not gonna do enough to knock out the Giratina. They will get the Squovit though. And that could be enough. And they will soften up the Arceus so that the Arceus cannot potentially if they attack the Arceus, the Arceus cannot kill or KO a they cannot defensively KO a Chen Pao with a box of... Okay, they're just going to soften up the... Yeah, take the school of it. Okay. That puts us in a weird spot. Let's go and see what we, we get here. I'm actually going to burn the Nest Ball. And we're going to thin our deck here. I sh normally wouldn't. And let's go and Industrial Synthesizers. I'm looking for a boss's orders. I don't get it. Um, let's go and put the choice belt on. And let's go slam path to the peak and judge.
Okay. We don't get boss. Uh, I'll hold on to that switch card. We swing for 180. And hopefully, they do not have... Let's see. Okay, Badoof. Hopefully, they don't have a... Man, this is such a slow match, but they are technically still in it. If they knock out the Tina... Oh, they have the Path Bump. Of course, they have the Path Bump. Uh... Wow, this is <laughs> agonizing. But look, they've played this to the very end, so I can't be too mad at them. I don't think they should have put the damage on the, the Giratina. I don't think it does anything for them right now. Now, to be fair, they could simply gust with the Pidgeot, and then Pidgeot can knock out the Giratina, at which point we have to figure something else out. Oh no, and they threw out their Chen Pao! That was the third Chen Pao! So they did have it. That was in the deck the whole time. <sighs> but now they need a rod. Do they have any more? They have both of their rods. I don't think they run three rod. I don't think they run three rod. What are they going to do? Okay, I guess we'll find out if they if they have any more outs. Like they can do it right now. And how many more copies of path do we have? Do we still have two more copies of path? Okay. Let's see. Yeah, and all their energy, <laughs> almost all their energy is accounted for right now. So not really sure what they're grabbing with this. They might just be dragging this out because they know they're going to lose and they're just wasting time. Um, that's unfortunate, but we're going to stick it out because we want we want our win. <laughs> we want our win. The chances of us winning are still pretty high if we can. Even if they knock out this Giratina, we just have to filter out our deck and try and get boss and boss up anything at this point, really. Okay. Uh, maybe we take this time to, to just talk about the... Yeah, Luminion is... And then they gust that out uh, and then try and tank with the Pidgeot, I think is probably the play. Uh. Oh, okay. Cross Switcher into the Giratina, I guess. Or try and trap something. Yeah, I think they're just going to try and trap the Arceus. Okay, if that's the play, then we just win. At that point, we slam the door with Path to the Peak. We just bring Giratina in, and we hit Lost Impact for 280 damage for game. Now, that was a, a very weird matchup for us. <laughs> they did have one-shot power, and it was good. They vacuumed away the, the Box of Disaster when they did. However... Um, yeah, losing the, the Chen Pao's when they did, especially that last one was really unfortunate. And it looked like they did not have an answer for the other box of disaster, which made them do a bunch of weird stuff at the end. But, um, we, we gladly take the win there, uh, in a, a weirdly tight one. And I knew that one was very drawn out, but, uh, we'll take the win. GG's. That is a look at Kashvinder Singh's man's Arceus Giratina deck this is an archetype that we just really haven't seen uh in in the paradox rift format and we kind of didn't really see it either in obsidian flames if memory serves me well this archetype kind of fell by the wayside but i do think there are merits to it from the the big damage the fairly consistent setup our giratina being able to hit 280 damage across multiple turns and just being a very tanky big bulky deck where smaller decks like a lost box are really going to have a hard time taking you out uh by the time you see this maybe there's been a whole revolution of arceus giratina decks maybe not but regardless cash Singh man did great at the cinnabar cinnabar island tournament and i do think there are merits to at least kicking the tires on this one but what say you Arctina, is it for real? Should we be bringing it back? Is it something we just play for funsies? Let me know in the comments below.
But for now, I got to get going. Thank you so much for watching. You can find me on all the things. YouTube, TikTok, Twitter, and Instagram at In Third Person. You can find me on Twitch at In Third Person, where I stream the Pokemon trading card game every Sunday at 10 a.m. Eastern Time. And, oh, I hit the wrong button. Oh, no. Uh, check out the website, InThirdPerson.com, for more articles and videos on video games, board games, and other nerdy pursuits. So until the next one, I'll see you later. Bye-bye.